Let's take a peek at how to get around in CSI and how forms work. This is where you enter quotes, ship orders, and various other tasks related to running your business. Forms are used to display, collect, and validate information about a record, whether it's an order, a vendor, a job, or countless others. And there are many ways to access them, such as that widget shortcut I used to get here, which I configured to take me to the customer's form filtered for customers in New Jersey. I could use other criteria if I chose, but that's how I set up that link. Another way I can access them is through bookmarks, which I can organize and drop into one or more user-defined buckets for quick access. You probably won't need nearly as many as I do. Most people are gonna use five or 10 forms on a daily basis. This is an easy way for them to get to those. The Explore menu is accessible via this little hamburger icon. This is a great way to explore the system by concept, by role, or process. Forms have some key elements that we should make note of here. The form itself lays on top of this grid, and I have this slider to adjust my view. You'll also have a variety of control types along with tabs for grouping fields or even housing a subtable. And what I see on the form is impacted by which record I have selected in the grid, which acts a lot like an Excel table. I can move columns around or hide the ones I don't need, and my preferences are tied to my profile. So it doesn't impact how a user or a group of users would want to see the same data. And speaking of Excel, we all know Excel isn't going anywhere. So even though you can do mass updates right here in the grid, CSI makes it easy for those who want to export the data and do whatever Excel magic they want to do. You can also import records from Excel straight into this grid by appending or even overriding. But don't worry because it's all permissions based and the data is validated. You may have noticed these buttons to the right, which are shortcuts to places one might usually go from here. While viewing a customer, you might want to see what orders are associated with them. So I can click this guy and it'll open up a new form filtered by the customer I had selected on the parent. This is called a linked form indicated by this little symbol, which means I can go back to the parent, select a different record, and I'll see the orders form update accordingly. And this is a great way to drill down without getting lost in a maze. In addition to display properties, I can also personalize things in other ways by adding new fields or buttons that might be a shortcut or even a trigger for a utility or a report to run. Remember, Infor equips you with all the tools the platform itself was built on, so you're in control. With the right security roles, you can click this button and it takes you right to the Mongoose platform where you can drag and drop new elements from the left and adjust their properties on the right. There's some magical stuff that you can do here and we'd be happy to dive deeper to show you what's possible there. And speaking of security roles, by now you may have noticed quite a few ways to change things. So let me take a quick sidebar to mention how CSI uses a solid security role system to control who can change things, who can access certain places, or even who can see a specific field. Security roles can be user specific or they can apply to a group or even site wide if you choose. And this means I can be a part of a group that doesn't have access to certain things, but my specific user profile has an extra security role enabled so I can get to certain things without granting access to others. A great way to explore flexibility when it comes to that type of stuff. And to wrap things up about forms, let's touch real quick on filtering. I launched this form using a homepage link with filter settings to show me all the customers in New Jersey, which produced four results. I could take it a step further and look for customers in New Jersey and also in Huron County and that would narrow it down even further. Any of these fields can be used as filter criteria, a 
along with support for operators and wildcards to help with dates and, for example, if I wanted to only see customers with a credit limit over 250000 I can simply put a greater than symbol in front and voila, I've narrowed it down even further. And if there is a complex set of criteria, I have 15 fields I want to filter on, I can easily save that filter criteria and then recall it again to switch between record sets on the fly.